Hi, this is Vincent out in the garden again. What do you do when your tomatoes are flopping? And in this video today, I'll show you what I do and what other issues I'm having. Over here in my side yard, the tomatoes were flopping like crazy. They were laying on the ground, and so I've built this first tomato cage for them to grow up inside of. I'll probably come back with some twist ties and or some tape and uh, attach those to the wire. This is galvanized fencing wire that I got at Tractor Supply. And I'm just twisting around. I've measured the circumference of this pot and it's about 33 little squares that I've measured out and cut the size appropriately, cut the wire appropriately to fit in the pot. Now I'm going to twist the wire to connect these pieces. And that's what I'm doing now. And this should be enough for the tomatoes to grow up inside of. And like I said, I'll use some tape to tie the tomato vines to the wire. And then I use some stakes like to secure this to the ground so it doesn't fall over. The wind will get real high and we don't want it to fall over. Just take the stakes and jam them down in the ground as far as you can. And you can see how easy it is just to build a metal thing like this. A tube out of wire. And you can cut these long pieces off if you want. These are easy to cut with a uh, a little saw, a uh, hacksaw. And then the tomatoes we can attach to the sides as it grows. And you can actually extend these to make them taller by adding another row of the wire. And you can zip tie it. We just use zip ties here. Just real quick and easy way to make a tomato cage. I've also had to, to uh, flick off all these little uh, stink bugs, little baby stink bugs, off my melons. And yes, I have a baby melon, let me show you. Tiptoe over here, not to disturb my melons. Let's see, there's my melon, oh there's my melon. It's growing a melon. I'm so excited. My first melon. I've always been so busy working, I haven't had time to do this. I've taken some time off to get my business going. And so I've been working on that full time. <laughs> Just lucky, luckily, oh, here's some of these boogers. Little stink bug boogers on my beans. Okay, well, I'll pick those off because I don't want them eating my vegetables. See, now they're getting ready. Hopefully it'll focus on those. But those are my asparagus beans. And we've already eaten some of those. Those are real good. I need to pick these for our dinner. I just want to show you all the little stink bugs I caught. Wish I could get a good picture of them. Anyway, they're just a bunch of babies. I'm going to go release them somewhere. Let and then these are bitter melons, which are supposed to be real good for you. They have medicinal qualities. And I'm still waiting. I hadn't seen any melons yet. They're supposed to be a little bit like a cucumber. Oh, there's one. Oh, jeez. I don't have my glasses on. Yes, an ugly cucumber. How exciting. It's doing real good. Sometimes you have to support those if they get too big. That one looks like it's okay. That's the first one. 
They look like they're doing good. They're pretty, pretty flowers. Most of the vegetables have been either yellow or orange so far. And I think the sunflowers will probably be a mixture. My basil's doing good here. The one, I just don't know. This one decided not to grow. But these other ones are giant. These are the Palo Verdes we started from seed. The whole tray, I didn't have enough seeds to fill up this tray, so I have some empty cells. Little four inches, four inch pots. Okay. So that's an update on the vegetable garden in the backyard and then out in the garden there's a bunch of butterflies flying around and pollinators they love the zinnias it's really hot in the garden right now and the butterflies are all over the place thank you for watching and have a nice day